Okay, so this is the correction for our activity number 8. Number, letter A. Letter A is f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1. And we are going to find f of f prime of 1. So, we are going to use the alternative formula. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan is lahat ng may x, sasubstitute natin yung x plus h. In this case, our x is 1. x is equal to 1. So, therefore, ang isasubstitute natin sa lahat ng x dito is 1 plus h. 1 plus h. So, lahat ng x, lahat ng x values, papayitan natin ng 1 plus h. Okay? So, that will be um, f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h plus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. And then we substitute the limit of our f of x plus h. Ito yung ating f of x. And then lahat ng x's, papalitan natin ng 1 plus h. So this will become 2 times 1 plus h quantity squared plus x. Yung x na to, papalitan natin ng 1 plus h. So this will become 1 plus h minus 1. Minus plus f of x. Plus our f of x is 2x squared plus x minus 1. All over h. As h approaches 0. Then we compute. Simplify natin. The limit. Ito pag in square natin. I-expand natin yung mga itong binomial. So this will be 2 times. Pag in-expand natin ito. This will become 1 plus 2h plus h squared. Plus 1 plus h. <clears throat> minus 1. Plus. Copy lang natin to. 2x squared plus x minus 1. All over h as h approaches 0. Then we continue. That will be equal to the limit of we distribute natin yung 2 sa loob. This will become 2 plus 4h plus 2h squared. Then, tanggal na natin parenthesis plus 1 plus h minus 1 plus 2h uh, plus 2 plus 2x squared plus x minus 1 all over h as h approaches 0. And then, we simplify the numerator. So, combine like terms. So, 2 Unahin natin itong h squared. Yung 2h squared, 2 Ay, sorry. Um, ang ating f of x, syempre, kukunin natin yung f of 1. Okay? And our f of 1, f of 1, is equal to, di ba ang function natin ay 2x squared plus x minus 1. So, kunin natin yung f of 1. So, magiging 2 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 1. So, that will be 2 plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 2. So, in this case, itong mga, itong f of x natin sa formula, this is our f of x. This is our f of x. Papaltan na natin lahat ito ng f of x. Anong f of x? f of x is equal to f of 1, which is equal to 2. Palta na natin lahat ito ng 2. So, this is equivalent to 2. And also, this is equivalent to 2. I-rewrite lang natin. So, this will become so, 2 2 plus 4H plus 2H squared plus 1 plus H Minus 1. Ito, palta na natin ito ng plus 2. Plus 2. All over h as h approaches 0. And then, combine natin yung mga similar terms. Okay? So, unay natin isulat yung 2h squared. The limit of 2h squared. Wala naman siyang kapareho. Yung 4h, ito. At saka yung h, pag samahin natin yan. So, this will become plus 5h. And then,
This is 2. 2 plus 2. Itong 1 at negative 1 cancel na to. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So, plus 4. All over H. As H approaches 0. Okay, so now, since wala na tayong pwedeng maigawang factoring para makancel out yung denominator, let's... Wait lang. Ayun, may mali tayong kaunti. So, dapat this is not plus. Okay, so dapat minus ito. Minus. Minus. This one is minus. So, this will be minus 2. Okay? This is minus 2. Cancel natin yun. Minus 2. Kasi ang, ang ating formula, ang ating formula ay f of x plus h minus f of x. Ang ating f of x ay 2. So, dapat minus 2. Okay. So, minus 2. So, dapat pala ito. So, this is positive 2, negative 2. Cancel na to. So, natira na lang is 2x, 2h squared plus 5h over h. As h approaches 0. So, that will be, well, factor natin yung later. Kasi pag hindi natin natanggal yung denominator na h, magiging undefined yung function. So, the limit of h times 2h plus 5 all over h as h approaches 0. Now, we can cancel h. So, our limit now is 2h plus h. Ay, 2h plus 5. As h approaches 0. Now, we can find the limit. So, the limit then is, our limit is, so, eto maging 0 na to. Our limit is 5. Okay. So, i-double check natin. I-counter check natin yung ating formula. So, if this is the given, kunin natin yung function natin. 2x squared plus plus x minus 1. So, this formula, since may idea na rin naman kayo kung paano kunin yung derivative, we are going to get the derivative using the sum and difference rule. Okay? f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1. <coughs> plus x minus 1. Kunin natin yung f prime of x. f prime of x is equal to 4x plus 1. And then, since ito na yung derivative natin, nakuha natin yung derivative, substitute lang natin yung value ng x natin. x is equal to 1. So, that will be uh, f of 1, f prime of 1 is equal to 4 times 1 plus 1. So, that will be 4 plus 1. It's equal to 5. Parehas lang naman siya na 5. So, ganun lang yun. Okay? So, this is the long method and this is the shortcut method. Ito. f of x is equal to 2 minus x cubed at f prime of negative 1. Okay? So, again, lahat ng x papalitan natin ng 1 plus h using the formula. So, ang ating, one, ay, ang ating uh, x is negative 1, so maging negative 1 plus h ang ipapalit natin sa lahat ng x. So, our formula is the limit of so two, ay, the limit of f of x so f of x plus h minus f of x all over x ay, all over h as h approaches 0. And then we substitute Ay, wait lang. Kunin mo natin yung f of 1. f of negative 1. f of negative 1 is, so that will be 2 minus negative 1 cube is equal to 2 minus negative 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, yun na yung substitute natin dito. And then, isa, direction natin. So, this will be the limit of 2 minus cube natin yung 1 plus h cube all over negative 1 plus h minus f of x which is 3. f of x is 3. All over h as h approaches 0. Okay? So, the limit of 2 plus i-cocube natin yung negative 1 plus h. Hindi ko na ipapakita yung pag-cocube ha. Ah. Uh, kayo na yung mag-solve nito. <coughs> Okay, so gagamit lang kayo ng cube of binomial. Okay? So, cube of binomial lang ang, ang gagamitin niyo rito para ma-simplify nyo. Then, minus. So, negative 1 plus h. Kapag kinonvert, kapag ka-inexpand natin to, this will become negative 1. 
negative 1 plus 3h minus 3h squared plus h cubed minus 3 all over h as h approaches 0 is equal to so this will be I tanggal lang natin yung parenthesis by distributing the negative sign so the limit of 2 plus 1 plus uh, minus 3h plus 3h squared minus h cubed minus 3 all over h as h approaches 0 is equal to magiging 2 plus 3 this is positive 3, minus 3. Ito, tsaka ito, cancel na. Cancel na sila. So, ang matitira na lang is the limit of negative 3h plus 3h squared minus h cubed all over h as h approaches 0. Then, factor the numerator by common monomial factor. The limit of h times negative 3 plus 3h squared. Naging 3h na lang to Minus h squared all over h as h approaches 0 and then we can cancel out the denominator it will end up the limit of negative 3 plus 3h minus h squared as h approaches 0 so now we can find the limit so if, if h approaches 0 so 0 na to this is also 0 therefore our slope here our slope here or the derivative is equal to negative 3 so, ibig sabihin nito, yung negative 3 is the slope of the tangent line. Okay? So, the slope of the tangent line. Another one. Hindi pa tayo dun sa baba. Okay, letter C. So, letter C is f of x. Ito, mahaba itong computation na to plus x to the fifth, x to the fifth, minus x to the fourth, plus x cubed, minus x squared, plus x, plus 1. Uh, and we are going to find f of f prime of 0. Okay? So, paano gagawin natin dito? So, 0 plus h, ibig sabihin, papaltan lang natin ng 0 plus h. Ano ba 0 plus h? Hindi h lang. So, lahat ng x values, papalda lang natin sila ng h. Okay? So, yung x plus h is equal to 0 plus h which is equal to h. So, in our formula, the, the derivative of f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus h minus f of 0 f of x all over h as h approaches 0. So, papaltan lang natin lahat ng excess dito ng h. Okay? So, this will be the limit of yung x to the fifth maging h to the, h to the fifth minus uh, h to the fourth plus h cubed minus h squared plus h plus 1 minus f of x. Kunin natin yung f of 0. Ano yung f of 0? f of 0. So, kung kukunin natin yung f of 0, so, ito may ging 0 na to. Kasi lahat, ang papalda natin ng 0. So, 0 na to. Ito, 0 din. 0, 0, 0. This is 1. So, ang sagot dito is 1. f of 0 is equal to positive 1. So, minus 1. All over h. As h approaches 0. Then, we continue. So, this will be the limit of Ito, cancel na to. Plus 1, minus 1. So, maging h to the 5th, minus h to the 4th, plus h cubed, minus h squared, plus h. All over h. As h approaches 0. And then, substitute natin, ay, i-factor natin yung numerator. We have the limit of h. And maging h to the 4th, minus h cubed, plus h squared, minus h, plus 1. All over h, as h approaches 0. Cancel out natin yung h, which will give us the limit the limit of, ito na natira, h to the fourth minus h cubed plus h squared minus h plus 1. As h approaches 0. Now we can get now the limit kasi natanggal na natin yung denominator. Okay? So we can get now the limit. So if we will get 0, 
So, ipapalitan natin ang zero lahat ng h. This will become zero, 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 zero. Ang matitira na lang is one. So, therefore, our m is equal to one. Now, i-counter check natin siya using our derivative formula or the der derivative rules. So, f prime of x is equal to, paano nga yun? Diba that is, nagyan natin dito. F, f prime of x na kunin natin derivative ng x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 1. So, f prime of x therefore is, ito, alam alam to ni Elin, alam na alam niya to. So, this is 4x to the fourth minus uh, 4, ay, 5x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 2x plus 1. Ito, 0 na. Okay? So, and then we, we ito na yung derivative natin. Kunin na natin yung f of 0. Okay? f prime of 0. f prime of 0. f prime of 0, syempre, may yung 0 na to. Ito, 0. Ito, 0. 0. The answer is 1. So, ibig sabihin, parang lang tayo ng sagot. The slope here is 1. Um, in finding the derivative of a function, we are getting the slope of the function in that given value of x. Okay? And then, syempre, ibang usapan pa. Pag, kinu pag kailangan mo kunin yung equation ng tangent line. But what we are getting here is the slope of the tangent line. Okay? So, let us have letter D. Letter D. Letter D is f of x equals the square root of 3x minus 5. And kunin natin f prime of 2. Okay? So, in this case, our our f, kunin muna natin yung f of 2. Kasi kailangan natin siya mamaya. f of 2 here is um, square root of 3 times 2 minus 5 is equal to square root of 6 minus 5 is equal to square root of 1 is equal to 1. So, therefore, our our f of 2 is equal to 1. And then, lahat naman ng x papalitan natin ng 2 plus h. O, lahat ng x papalitan natin ng 2 plus h. So, ang formula natin is the limit of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 all over h as h approaches 0. So, that will be the limit of 2 plus h, so papalitan natin, that will be the square root of 3 times 2 plus h minus 5 minus f of 2, which is 1 as h approaches 0. Okay? And then, all over h pala, all over h. Yan. So, that will be the limit of so, pwede ba natin itong simplify? So, try natin siyang i-distribute. Ano? So, magiging Square root ng 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is making 6. 6 plus 3. H minus 5. Minus 1. All over H. As H approaches 0. Okay? Is equal to magiging the limit of the square root of 3H plus 1. Minus 1. Lagyan lang natin ng kudlit para hanggang din lang siya talaga. Over h. <coughs> As h approaches, 0. It's equal to the limit of my game. So, kailangan natin siyang isimplify para makancel out natin itong denominator na to. So, we can do that by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator, which is <coughs> multiply it by square root of 3, 3h plus 1 minus 1. Ay, plus 1 pala. All over 3h plus 1. Square root of 3h plus 1 plus 1. Okay? <coughs> that way, kapag pinag-multiply natin ito, makakancel out natin din na yung radical sign. It will give us 3h plus 1 minus 1 all over h times the square root of 3h plus 1 plus 1. Okay? Cancel na to as it approaches 0, is equal to the limit of 3h over h times the square root of 3h plus 1 plus 1. 
Cancel na si H. Kasi H approach is 0. So, this will be natin the limit of 3 over the square root of 3H plus 1 plus 1 as H approaches 0. This is the limit of 3 over 3 plus H. At akbalin natin kunin yung limit natin. So, tapos na tayo, nakancel out na natin yung H sa denominator na magbibigay ng 0 or undefined. Okay? So, kaya pwede natin kunin yung limit. So, it, this will become 0. So, this is this will be, yung nasa denominator, magiging square root of 1 plus 1. So, ang square root of 1 naman is 1 lang. So, 1 plus 1. So, that is equal to 3 over 2. So, the limit, oh, the slope is 3 over 2. Or the derivative. F prime of, F prime of 2. Is 3 over 2. Okay? Oh, f prime of 2 is 3 over 2. Next. Kunin naman natin yung letter E. <clears throat> letter E is uh, f of x is equal to 1 minus square root of x squared minus 3x plus 4. Kunin natin yung f prime of 3. So, therefore, our x here is 3. So, kunin natin yung f of 3. Ang f of 3 natin ay ilan? So, this will become 9 minus 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4. Cancel na yun. So, matitira is square root of 4. So, ang ating f of 3 is y 1 minus square root of 4 is 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. f of 3 is negative 1. Okay? So, in this case, lahat ng x's papalitan natin ng 3 plus h. O, lahat ng x papalitan natin ng 3 plus h. 3 is equal to 3 plus h. Okay? Now, let us use the formula. 3 plus h. So, my gain is equal to the limit of 1. Ay, sulat mo natin yung formula. f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 all over h as h approaches 0. Then, we simplify and uh, substitute natin. So, 1 minus ito, lahat ng lahat ng x, papalta natin ng 3 plus h. So, maging 3 plus h squared minus 3h uh, minus 3 3 times x plus a, uh, 3 plus h plus 4. Okay? Minus f of 3 is negative 1, minus negative 1. All over h as h approaches 0. And then we try to expand 1 minus square root of pag expand natin ito, this will become 3 maging 9 plus 6h plus h squared. Ito na maging negative 9 minus 3h plus 4, plus 1. Tukman na natin to. All over h. As h approaches 0, is equal to the limit of 1 minus square root of simplify natin to. This is cancel. So, matitira is h squared h squared minus Oh, 6h plus minus 3h is minus th uh, plus 3h na lang. Plus 4. As a, uh, plus, plus 1. Pagsamay na nga natin to. So, positive 1, tsaka negative 1. Magiging, ay, positive 1, positive 1. Ito magiging 2. 2 minus. All over h. Ito, pinagsama ko lang to. As h approaches 0. Is equal to the limit of 2. Yan. So, paano na to? So, gagawin natin dito. Mamultiply na natin siya sa kanyang conjugate. So, try natin. Anong conjugate? So, maging 2 plus square root of h squared plus 3h plus 4 all over 2 plus square root of h squared plus 3h plus 4. So, this will become 4. 
minus, cancel out na to, maging h squared plus 3h plus 4. All over h times 2 plus square root of h squared plus 3h plus 4. As h approaches 0, is equal to, uh, ayusin natin to, the limit of 4, yung negative distribute natin sa loob, negative h squared plus, oops, maging minus 3h minus 4. All over h times 2 plus square root of h squared plus 3h plus 4. As h approaches 0, is equal to, cancel na yung 4 at negative 4. Ang matitira na lang is the limit of negative h minus 3h. I-factor na natin to, common monomial factor. So, maging h times negative h minus 3. All over h times 2 plus square root of h squared plus 3h plus 4. Cancel na yun. As h approaches 0. Cancel na yun. <clears throat> so, this will become uh, the limit of the limit of negative h minus 3 all over 2 plus square root of <coughs> h squared plus 3h plus 4. As h approaches 0, natanggal na yung h sa denominator na magbibigay ng 0 or uh, indeterminate form. Okay? So, pwede na tayong kumuha ng limit. So, pag kinuha natin yung limit as h approaches 0, this will become 0. This one will become 0. This one will become 0. It will end up negative 3 over 2. Plus, square root of 4. Ano ba square root of 4? Square root of 4 is 2. Kaya natin dito. It's equal to negative 3 over 4. Ito yung sagot natin. Negative 3 over 4. Okay? Another one. Letter F. Letter F. So, F of X is equal to x over 2x minus 1. Okay? Kunin natin yung f of negative 3, f prime of negative 3. Our x here is negative 3. So, pag ginawa natin yung f of negative 3, this will become, ito maging 1, ay maging negative 3. Ito naman maging 2 times negative 3, maging negative 6 minus 1. Maybe maging negative 3 over 7. Oops, negative 3 over negative 7, or 3 over 7 lang. So, ang ating f of negative 3 is, negative, is 3 over 7. Okay, natin yan. Okay. Then, lahat ng mga x's, papalta natin ng x minus, ah, negative 3 plus h. So, lahat ng x, papalta natin ng negative 3 plus h. So, that will give us the limit. So, f prime of x, or f prime of negative 3, is equal to the limit of um, f of negative 3 plus h, minus f of negative 3 all over h as h approaches 0 is equal to the limit of uh, this will be negative 3 plus h sa numerator over 2 times 3 negative 3 plus h minus 1 all over oops minus minus 3 over 7 yan all over h as h approaches 0, is equal to the limit, the limit of, yan. Um, simple pa natin, negative 3 plus h over, this is negative 6 plus 2h, negative 6 plus 2h, minus 3 over 7, all over h, as h approaches 0. And then, magiging, the limit of ito siguro pwede kong i-factor ay nakalimutan natin yung minus 1 pala minus 1 yan o edi simplify pa natin yun minus 1 so maging the limit of negative 3 plus h all over 2h minus 7 2h minus 7 minus 3 over 7 over h as h approaches 0 is equal to the limit of 
Ito, i-combine natin. Subtract natin sila. So, that will give us may gin 7 times 2H minus 7. Then, cross product na lang. So, this will become negative 7, ay, 7 times 3 plus H minus 3 times 2H minus 7. O, oh, dapat matunong na kayo mag, uh, ano nito. Nag-add lang tayo ng dalawang rational function. Okay? As, over H, as H approaches 0. Then, we simplify the numerator, the limit of 7, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 7H minus 3, ay, 3 times 2 is 6H, 6H plus 21. Plus 21. All over 14, 14H minus 49. All over H, as H approaches 0. Simplify natin ulit. Is equal to the limit ng 7H 7H minus 6H is H na lang. H. And then, 21 plus 21 is 42. Plus 42. Over 14H minus 49. All over H. As H approaches 0. O, diba? Let's continue. So, this will become the limit so, this is complex fraction. I-simplify natin ito, itong complex fraction na to, by multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. So, this will be H Wait lang ha. Sige, tuloy natin. H plus 42 over 14 H minus 49 Wait lang. Parang may mali. Na ba tayo nakalimutan? So, negative 3 plus H. Okay. Tuli lang natin. So, this will be multiplied by 1 over H. As H approaches 0. Ito kami, mali na talaga. It's equal to the limit of H plus 42 all over H times 14 H minus 49. Hindi pa natin nakakancel out. Wait lang. Ah, may mali ako. Ayun, ang mali. So, this is negative 3 plus H. So, this is negative 3 plus H. Eh, nakalimutan natin dito. And then, ito negative 3 plus H. And then, nung nag-distribute, this dapat naging ano to? Negative 49. Ay, negative 21. Negative 21. So, dapat na-cancel out natin ito. So, Dapat ang natira na lang dito sa numerator ay H. Ayan. Tapos, H na lang dito. H over 49. And then, cancel natin yung H. Tapos, ang matitira na lang ay 1 over 2. As H approaches 0. Is equal to? Ayan. Balikan natin. So, kinuha natin yung, pinutan natin lahat ng negative 3 plus H. Okay? Minus F of negative 3, which is 3 over 7. Then, negative 3 plus H all over. Ito, sinimplify natin yung denominator. And then, after that, negative 3 plus H. Nasimplify na natin. Pinag-subtract na natin yung numerator. Okay? So, after subtracting, dito tayo nagkamali. Naging, negative, naging positive yung nilagay ko dito. So, dapat negative 3. So, pag pinag-multiply, naging negative 21 plus 7H minus 6H plus 21. Then, makakansal yung negative tsaka positive 21. Then, 7H minus 6H may yung H na lang. Over 14H minus 49 over H. Then, simplify natin yung complex fraction. So, by multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. So, magiging uh, 
h over 14h minus 49 times 1 over h. In this case, makakancel out natin yung h. So, maging 1 over 14h minus 49. Now, we get the limit as h approaches 0. So, that will be, ito maging 0 na to. So, ma ang maging sagot is negative 1 over 49. Yan. Okay? Last. Medyo mahaba yung solution, no? Yan, yan yung solution natin. Okay, so last one. So, masyado mahaba yung formula. Is, ang tawag natin dito is increment method. Increment method. This is the long method of finding the derivative of a function. And kapag kinukuha natin yung derivative, itong long method is, is ginagamit in the derivation of the formula. Of the differentiation rules. So, kaya mahalaga din ito na alam natin para matunong tayong mag-derive ng mga formula sa differentiation rules. So, last one is the letter G. f of x equals x squared plus 1 all over x minus 4. Kunin natin yung f prime of 0. So, our x here is equal to 0. So, lahat ng x, papaltan lang natin ng h. Kasi, x, di ba, magiging 0 plus h. E di h na lang. So, kunin natin yung x of, uh, f of 0. Ang f of 0 natin, ito magiging 0. This one magiging 0. So, magiging negative 1 fourth. Negative 1 fourth. Okay? So, f prime of 0 is equal to uh, f of h na lang minus f of 0. All over h. Uy, nakalimutan ko yung limit. Mahalagyan na ilalagyan natin yung limit. The limit of h approaches 0. f prime of 0. Yan. Is equal to Substitute natin. So, this will be the limit of um, ito maging h squared h squared plus 1 all over h minus 4 tapos minus negative 1 fourth e din lagyan natin plus 1 fourth na lang all over h as h approaches 0. Is equal to the limit of um, 1 fourth So, ito ipag-add natin tong dalawang ito. So, this will become 4 times h minus 4 square product na lang, maging h squared plus 1 times 4 ito, cross product nito. And then, 1 times h minus 4 plus 1 times h minus 4 h minus 4 na lang, h minus 4. As h approaches 0 all over h is equal to, dito na rin tuloy. Ito ay maging uh, 4 h squared 4h squared plus 4 plus h minus 4 all over 4 times h minus 4 all over h is equal to the limit of is equal to ito cancel na to Matitira is 4h squared, 4h squared plus h, all over 4 times h, h minus 4, all over h, as h approaches 0, is equal to, yan, is equal to, um, ito yung factor natin yung numerator nito, naging the limit of h times 4h plus 1 over 4 times h minus 4 all over h as h approaches 0. Now, this is a complex fraction and pwede natin simplify yung complex fraction na to by multiplying the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator so that will be the limit of h times 4 h plus 1 over 4 times h minus 4 multiplied by 1 minus h eh, 1 over h as h approaches 0. Now, we can cancel h. So, matitira na lang is the limit of 4h plus 1 over 4 times h minus 4. Okay? As h approaches 0. And then, now we can get the limit. The limit is 4 times, ito maging 0. This one maging 0 din. So, ang matitira na lang ay, ang matitira na lang is 1 sa numerator over Yung negative 1, negative 4 na natira sa loob, times 4 is negative 16. Or negative 1 over 16. So, ito yung sagot. Okay, so, I hope na sundanin nyo yung ating solution. 
and I use uh, I choose to to make it a video so that you will still be guided on how I was able to solve this um, these problems. Okay, so that will be all. Thank you.